Raymond. It's such an honor to meet you. And honestly, we learned a long time ago that whatever effort we could make, Battery Dance, we have to be matched by the local effort. And here in Bremen, we couldn't have asked for more. This evening, you will see works that were created by the students in just five days. The dances that they've created are their own. They tell their stories through the body, things that may not be reachable with words. And that's what we're saying. This is One World. This is Dancing for Trust. Ja, also wie war das für mich? Ich war erstmal ein bisschen überrascht, auch von der Tanzart. Aber es war irgendwie, dass man sich so ein bisschen die Bewegung neu erfunden hat. Also, so wir haben heute getanzt wie Wasser, das habe ich vorher noch nie gemacht. Ich habe auch neue Leute kennengelernt, das stimmt. Also, wir haben mit der Oberstufe zusammen getanzt, das heißt Q1 und Q2 zusammen. Ja, es war fantastisch. Ich würde es wieder machen. Every day was such a learning experience to just learn about each other, um, personalities and how we like to move, what makes us laugh, um, what makes us emotional, what are serious issues in our lives, what are problems, are we tired? All of these things that actually communicate with one another is all reflected in the dance. Viele haben sich weiterentwickelt, haben äh, ein anderes Gefühl für ihren Körper bekommen und äh, was ich persönlich sagen kann, ist einfach das Tanzen, egal wie es auch einem geht, einfach ein ganz anderes Selbstbewusstsein gibt und man da finde ich sehr daraus lernen kann. So we're also here working with Hans Hoffmann Foundation and he talked a lot about abstract expressionism. So the students were able to bring their personal stories their family stories and journey into this and create something through movement telling their stories and their journey of why they are here now in Germany. At the same time, this process and the creation is a lot of different experiences and memories that they've had from their own personal journeys, whether it be with their family and their home life or even here with their friends and the new friends that they've made in Germany. Uh, I feel incredibly thankful and aligned to have worked with them over the past one week. Uh, together we've created such a bond uh, because there was a space of trust and openness, creativity and collaboration. It's always a little bit different. It's different than uh, working with the kids in America. It's obviously a very uh, big difference in culture and uh, their approach and of course uh, you know, our methodology is adapting as well. Uh, it's beautiful seeing the transformations from day one to the last day when we are like on stage and you see them enjoying and absorbing all of this experience. During the workshops, uh, we are guiding them through a series of exercises or tools, however you want to call them, in order to create their own movement. And that's what we present on stage. So at the end of our five-day workshop, four days a week, we meet here in the theater and we present it in front of everybody that they get to experience this uh, extraordinary feeling, you know, of uh, showing off their moves with their friends and um, with their new friends or like old friends, hopefully more new than old. And then just to see coming from the other side of it, watching this growth happen as a teaching artist, it's quite so much bigger than dance it's so humane and like it's, there's so much there's so much love that comes into it and then to see them all on stage and so proud of what they created and bowing and just into their confidence is like it's unreal it's i think it's really unlike anything yeah <laughs>